Hi, I'm Sunshine Van Barrel, and I have a laboratory at Tulane University. And we're very interested in studying bacteria and fungi that live in association with plants. These bacteria and fungi are called endophytes. And endo means inside, and phyte means plant. So they're bacteria and fungi that live inside of the roots or the stems or the leaves of the plant. And we're really interested in what these bacteria and fungi do inside of the plant and how they help the plant. And lots of other studies in, in systems, plant systems everywhere, have shown that some of these bacteria can promote the growth of plants and some of the fungi can protect plants from damage by pathogens. So we're really interested in studying this huge diversity of bacteria and fungi that live in association with plants. In our lab, we focus on two key plant species for the northern Gulf of Mexico. Smooth cordgrass, which is the grass that lives along the coast of the Gulf and is very important for land building and reducing erosion. And we also study bald cypress, which is our state tree and is extremely important for storm protection and flood protection. So our lab is one of the first groups to start looking at the bacteria and fungi that live inside of the roots and the leaves of these plants. And we're really interested in figuring out ways that we can use these bacteria and fungi to improve restoration using these plants in the northern Gulf of Mexico. One exciting finding in our lab is that we're looking at the effects of the deep water horizon spill on endophyte and plant interactions along the coast. So we went out to areas that had been heavily oiled and we collected grasses and we compared those grasses to areas that had not received oil from the oil spill. And we cultured out the bacteria and the fungi living in their roots and leaves and we found a very large diversity of these symbionts living in the grasses. But we also saw really exciting community shifts in the bacteria of the roots of these plants. And one of the big shifts that we saw is that plants that had been in oiled areas had an increase in the kinds of bacteria that are important for degrading oil. So this is a really exciting finding because we also know from other researchers that the oil makes it up into the tissues of the plant. And so we think, and we're trying to find out, if these bacterial endophytes are continuing to biodegrade crude oil inside of plant tissues. A second species that we're focusing on is bald cypress. We're very interested in bald cypress because it's key for reducing storm damage and flooding in the coastal areas. However, in southeastern Louisiana, most bald cypress swamps and areas are degraded. And that's because as sea level is rising and we get more storm surge, we have more salt coming into areas that was previously fresh water. So this is stressful for the trees, and we're interested in seeing if that's expressed in their symbiont communities. So are the bacteria and fungi different in those stressed trees? Another thing that we'd like to do is see if we can use some of these symbionts as tools in restoration of bald cypress. For example, we could go study other plants that tolerate extreme salt, like plants living right on the edge of the coast, such as a mangrove tree, and we could take the symbionts from the roots of that tree and transfer them into bald cypress and hopefully make a more resilient bald cypress tree. We hope our research will provide a foundation of basic knowledge on these bacterial and fungal endophytes so that we can use this knowledge to create tools that will improve restoration of these two key species in the northern Gulf of Mexico. Thanks for listening, and I hope that I've piqued your interest in endophytes and plant symbiont interactions. And if you're interested, please check out our website. Thank <laughs> you.